guys. So I know I probably look like trash right now and the reason for that is there is no reason. I just look like trash. So it is midterms week for me in particular. Uh, maybe it is for some other people, but we have a finals week, which we have in the middle of the year and at the end of the year where we have like this funky schedule where we have certain classes on certain days. It's usually called block schedule, but some people might not be familiar with that, but basically we have two hour classes each day, but we only have certain classes on those days. Anyway, so when I was going through finals week, I decided that I was going to make a video talking about how to survive school in general, because I feel like school is just such a complicated time for so many people and you either sink or you swim and sometimes you do a little bit of both i know i have so i thought i'd put together a little guide on how to what was i gonna say how to survive school so i think the first major thing which is kind of a given is organization and i know it's hard to get organized because like the beginning of the year you know you're always you know perfectly organized, you got your new pen, you your new pencils, you got a new pencil pouch, new binder, and everything's in order, and you just feel so great about yourself, like this is going to be my year. This happens every year, but I do that, and then about a weekend, everything just falls into a giant mess of just mess. So but a good way to like handle all of that, in my opinion, is to get a three room binder that's like pretty big. I know a lot of people hate big binders, but trust me, if you get like a medium sized binder to a big binder, because that's what I have, and just have tabs for every class in there so you can keep everything in one binder, it just helps a lot, because I think when you have a bunch of different binders with a bunch of different classes, it just kind of gets all messed up and confusing. And if you just constantly hole punch your, fold your papers and just put them in the right places, you're fine. Like, the majority of my papers are kind of just shoved in to their locations, but at least they're in their locations, you know what I mean? It just helps to keep everything together so that, you know, you're not hunting for your homework later on down the road. The second thing, which I think is probably the most difficult thing to try and overcome because I still haven't overcome it, but that is procrastination. Procrastination is probably the worst thing that you can do when it, come, when it comes to life in general. Procrastination just leads to failing, leads to misplacing things, leads to just stress. And I think the best way to help with procrastination is to one, keep yourself organized, and two, just try to like get some of it done. Like, say your teacher assigns you an essay. That first day he assigns it, go home, at least put your paper in MLA format. The next day, maybe write the first paragraph. Maybe brainstorm the next day about like certain things you want to put in the essay and just do like a paragraph a day, you know what I mean, until it's due. Um, currently, I have an essay that's due tomorrow that I haven't finished, so I'm not really going by that rule clearly, but you should. This is going to be a little bit of an odd one because a lot of people probably don't think about this as being an option for trying to survive school, but I would say try and have a less busy schedule than you normally would. So I would say narrow down, you know, all the activities and things you have going on. Like I get if, it, if it's school related, you can't really take it out of your schedule, but if it's other things that you don't need to be doing that aren't a necessity, just take it off of your schedule, you know, try to relax. You want to have as much free time as you really can because then that free time gives you time to revitalize, do the homework that you need to. Another, the, la the next two things are kind of go hand in hand. So. I think a major stress for people is just drama in general. I, I think that is the main thing. And you get a lot of that when you're in middle school, a lot of it when you're in elementary school. It starts to lessen when you're in high school, but at the same time it starts to get a little bit more intense because people are older, people are doing more things that are a little out there. So I would say try to avoid drama as much as you can. Drama is just, it drags you in, it eats you up, it spits you back out, and it's just awful. I don't really have any friends at school to be dealing with drama, and whenever I have drama, it's usually involving school itself, so it's not like it's like other people, he, sh he said, she said kind of thing. Just avoid it, stay calm, just don't be a part of it. And the next thing is fake friends. So there's going to be a lot of people out there that may seem like they're your friend, and in the end you find out they're not your friend. and. It, you end up thinking some of the time that you're like, oh, I saw this coming, why did I not do anything about it? So if people are just not nice to you and are doing mean things to you, like in my internet support internet support group video I did 
which was if you want to go check it out, link will be below. But um, in my video, somebody emailed me about like a friend, a friend group that made a group chat talking behind her back about her, which I think is so stupid. Like you cannot be friends with people that do that. Like I don't understand why you still would be friends with, with people who do that. So just people who are just not nice to you in general, just don't be friends with them. It's not worth your time. You will find great people, trust me. And also you are very young. So this is a young part of your life, a young stage of your life and you are bound to meet so many more people as you get older. So don't think it's the end of the world if you lose a couple people because it's bound to happen. Trust me, I know. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little advice for surviving school guide. I would call this like a Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide in a way. Wait, no, no, no. Sapphire's Declassified School Survival Guide. Boom. That, that wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Anyway, if you guys want me to give you advice on other things, I will. And if you haven't seen my last video, which I already said I'd link below, but just in case you didn't hear that part. <laughs> For some reason. I did a video where I did uh, kind of like an internet support group that Dan Howell does but my own version called Safi's Advice and I just basically read emails from you guys that you've sent um, where you guys you know had wanted me to give you advice on stuff so if you want more advice then head over there and check that video out. Link will be below and um, yeah I hope you guys have a fabulous evening, day, night, whatever time it is and I will catch you all on the next train. See ya!